Hi y'all and welcome to Upcycle Scrapbooking. This is Jen. Um, okay, today we're going to make this cute little um, lip gloss holder. And so let's get started. You're going to need a piece of um, cardstock. Now I would make sure your cardstock is a really nice heavyweight. Um, not that 65 pound weight. We need about at least 80. Um, you can try it with 65 pound if you want. We're going to be using some clear uh, laminate or clear contact paper that you can get um, at Walmart or Michaels. It comes in a roll. I'll show you. It comes in a roll like this. And it only costs about $5 and you get a lot. So um, we'll be using two of those and a solid piece of cardstock. We'll be using some... Um, some Velcro. It's called Sticky Back. You can get that again at Walmart. Some of your grocery stores carry it and um, Michael's and probably Hobby Lobby. They're about, it's about two dollars for that and um, you also need um, some kind of double stick ad strong adhesive and possibly some uh, tacky glue. A strong quick dry glue, not an Elmer's a permanent glue. Okay? So well, let's get started. Okay, you're going to cut your largest piece, which is the one that you want to show everyone um, on the outside. This piece is going to be uh, cut at nine and three eighths inches by four and three quarters inches. So nine and three eighths by four and three fourths. Okay. All right. And so the next thing we're going to do is score it. Okay. Um, we're going to score it. Oh, I just found my score tool. Okay. All right. Laying it on the long side, which is the nine and three eighths, we're going to score, and I'll have these measurements written down for you and also on my blog. Um, it's going to be at the half inch, at two and three quarters, at three and three eighths. Five and seven eighths, oops, six and a half, and eight and three quarters. That'll leave a half inch here at the bottom. Okay, so let's go over that again. A half inch, two and three quarters inch, three and three eighths inch, five and seven eighths inch, six and a half inch, and eight and three quarters. Now turn it clockwise, and now you're going to be on the four and three quarters inch width side, and you're going to score at the half inch and the four and a quarter inch. And what you'll notice is that you're leaving a um, half inch margin around all the edges, okay? So now you'll take this and you'll reinforce all your score marks. Okay, so let's do that really quick. Sorry if you're hearing door slamming. People are going in and out of my house today. Okay, so these are the edges. This will be your margin. Okay, and now we're going to um, fold at the two and three quarters and the three and three eighths, the five and seven eighths, and six and a half. Okay, make sure those are even. Okay, all right. We're going to be putting score tape on the half inch margin. So you can just use your quarter inch if you want or your half inch, it doesn't matter. Just don't get right in the score mark, okay? So um, also, I'm sorry, first we need to um, cut this little corner off. Let me grab my scissors. Okay. That would probably be easier. For me, it's going to be easier to see it on this side. It's the this little uh, corner right here that's made where these two lines intersect, you want to cut that off 
um, on the outer part of the score mark. Okay. And what that just does is it actually miters the corner perfectly. each corner on the outside of the score mark. Okay. Not the inside. Okay. All right. So now you see we've got each corner out. Okay. So let's put our score tape down on that edge. This is just, I love this project because it's quick, easy, and you can make a lot of them for your nieces, your sister, your mother, grandmother, friend, whomever. And it's just a great, neat little project, okay? So you still have a space here, and you're welcome to put more score tape here. Um, to reinforce it if you like. I am one to be safe not sorry kind of person. Um, you may you, you know not want to say so you don't want to waste your score tape, money's tight, uh, then use glue. Um, just don't do a whole or, or use your ATG that that would probably work as well just as long as you have the score tape on that end because of you want to um, have that pins really strong okay so um so yeah you could use your um your little snail adhesive or a thin layer of the tacky quick dry glue which is like this one right here i uh, eileen's i've used scotch i've used eileen's tacky glue i've used their quick dry glue they all work great there's um one called beacon uh glue um that i know that um Marion uses and she loves it and I've been dying to try it and I just haven't bought it yet so thank you Marion I'll try to get that all right so just remove your tape covers okay and then just fold it over okay go to your next one remove your cape uh cape cover oh that's funny I'm running babbit today uh, tape cover, not cape cover. And go to the next one. Um, this also can be, I'm using a lip gloss that I bought from the dollar store because I wanted it to be as cheap as possible. You might have um, a great coupon deal and be able to get them cheaper than that at a drugstore. Um, I'm going to trim that because it just over, it was overhang. I don't want that showing. Okay. All right. And the next side. You're probably thinking this is no way this is going to be strong enough. Um, but because you're using the contact paper, it really thickens the strength of it. I'm having trouble with this one. Let me just smell it, please. There, you go. there we go. Okay. All right. So just reinforce all your score marks now that you've added that crease right there. Okay. Because once we add the contact paper, you want to make sure that you have that crease to fold up against. Okay. All right. So now you have this with the nice little margin on it. Okay. So now you want to add your um, your contact paper. I've cut two pieces, one to match um, each piece that I'm using. So you want your larger piece. Sorry, I had to check and see which one was my piece. Okay, so take your larger one. You might want to get some scotch tape to hold down your, um, your contact paper so it doesn't curl up on you. To start your contact paper, fold over the corner just slightly and, it, and it'll separate for you so let me get that started 
There we go. Flat. And be careful when you um, take it off because you don't want it to crease or wrinkle. Just going to do it in the corner right there. And pull it back. Once you, I'm sorry, once you un take the backing off, it um, it will um, lay pretty flat, but it will move. So I'm just taping barely on that edge, like maybe like an eighth of an inch on the edge. Okay, so now we want to um, lay this um, print side down, the side that you want them to see. Um, and because this is clear, you got to make sure you know where your thing is. Okay, and start centered. Make sure. I'm sorry, I have to make sure because it's so clear I can't see it. Um, okay, lay it down and then start smoothing as you go because you don't want air bubbles or creases. Okay. Alright. And I want it to overlap each way. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, cut off any excess that I have. And I'm going to use... I had a craft knife here. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna use my craft knife. To about, you can leave like a half inch to three quarters inch. Okay, let me pull this off. Get it. I'm so sorry, I moved my mat. Okay, and this one's just about perfect, so I'm just gonna take the tape off there. Okay. And you can miter your corners. Um, and it's not going to be easy to do with a uh, scissor, so you want to do that with your craft knife. Okay. You might want to do it too when it's still um, taped down in case it moves too much. Okay. So I'm going to do this side first. it out as you go. Use your bone folder. This side. This is where I go corner, 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 corner so one can fold over the other and seal it. Okay. Okay. Getting that almost done. Smooth it out because you'll get air bubbles. Smooth that out. Okay, smooth it out again. Okay, you have anything you need to trim? Like I've got just the tiniest bit of that corner hanging over. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay. All right, now reinforce your score marks again. You want everything to fold correctly because again, we're gonna put one more layer on here and you want it to all fold correctly, okay? I'm gonna fold it again, especially on that thick part. Okay, all right, good. Now it's all pretty shiny. Now we're going to be putting our cover um, over it, and mine looks a little wide, I think. I'm going to trim mine just the slightest bit it still looks a little bit wide. So let me take like an eighth inch off of mine. Okay. That's probably better. Can I see? Oh, that's good. Oh, much better. Much better. Okay. So now, because you have this contact on here, no, the glue is not going to stick. So this is where you do have to use your score tape. Um, so I'm going to put this on all my edges. Okay. Flip over the other opposite side with score tape. Okay. 
gonna do my ends with score tape real quick. And then you wanna fill the middle with score tape. Now, if you have a half inch like I do, if not, you can just use your quarter, but I'm gonna use my half inch because it'll fill it up faster. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I never thought I would need half inch, but I'm so glad when I started using it because it really does make a difference. It's faster. Um, sometimes you use less. Um, I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna put one line of quarter inch there. There we go. That makes me happy. <laughs> okay. All right. Smooth it all out. And remove all of your tape covers and then we're just going to put it down and then the next thing we do is put our um, what do you call it um, contact paper on I was at Michael's the other day and they had in the back of where the kids um, kits are where their color Crayola stuff and everything are Michael's had contact paper that was chalkboard contact paper and um, white dry erase board paper so I it, it's it was five dollars a roll and of course you could use your your 40 and 50 percent off coupons on that um, but um, I can't wait to try a project with that okay let's center it um, And you can use your and again one more time see now it's getting thicker it's harder to reinforce the score marks that's why you want to make sure every time you fold you reinforce them because it gets thicker and thicker especially on those little half inch margins Okay, almost done. We are almost there. This is a very quick, easy project. Okay, so now we're going to take our last piece, and you want to make sure that it's cut fairly close to what you need on here. So mine, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go over. I'm going to lay it flat on the paper side. I'm going to go over about an eighth of an inch go over another eighth of an inch and then mark it so that I know where I need to cut okay and then on the other part I need to know I need to go an eighth this direction this direction an eighth that direction so now there's where I need to cut so I'll get my little so sorry, I'm hitting the camera and moving it. Um, cut this way. Right on that mark. And then this way. Okay, now we're ready. Okay. So, now we're ready to put this down on here and cover it, okay? So, let's take your paper covering. I'm going to fold on that corner again. And peel that. Now, this time I'm not going to peel all the way off. I'm going to center it on here. And I'm going to pull it slowly. smoothing as I go, like this, especially when you're going over those score marks, okay? And I can actually push it as I go. Okay. Almost there. 
done. Okay, I'm going to smooth it out before I reinforce the score marks. Okay. Okay, so now reinforce your score marks one last time. Oh my gosh, this is such a quick and easy project. It's gotten thicker and thicker and thicker. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, so you're going to take... Let me open this one so I can show you. All right. So what we're doing here, first find which way you're folding it closed, okay? Let's see. Oops, I'm sorry. Got some fuzz in there. Okay. So you'll find which way you're going to close it. Are you going to close it this direction or this direction? It really doesn't matter. Um, I like to have a little, that little bit of um, eight, uh, eighth quarter inch space right there so that you have somewhere to pull from to open it, okay? So just figure out which one, and for me, it's this direct, going this direction, okay? So this will be my top, okay? So here in the middle, you're going to put your Velcro. It's called Sticky Back General Purpose Velcro. This is 7 8 inch Velcro squares for everyday use. You do not want the poster one. The poster one is too light. It's not meant to ha handle a lot of wear and tear. Um, so what you'll do is you will place on the back your squares and then you will take the other, I need one more, hold on just a second. Okay, here's one. You'll take this, uh, the rough one, not the fuzzy one, but the rough one and place it on top just so you it makes it easier knowing exactly where to place it on your on your uh, case, your lip gloss case. Okay, so we'll put that like that. That's some sticky stuff. <laughs> okay, and then you just want to center it on here and press down, and that's it. That's it. It's all ready. And you just take it off when you want to use it or you can leave it on or you can replace this whenever they want new and all they have to do is add new new lip gloss and a lot of times they can get these off and re-adhere them on to their container so the last part is that you'd like to put um, velcro closure and I suggest doing two not one um, because you're, you're you're very lightweight here so using the same concept you're going to want to put the um, the fuzzy ones down first and you don't want them too close to the edge of your cover or they will show so let's figure out where to line it up I want it probably about there you can see I've left about an eighth of an inch Hopefully that's not too close. It's probably about an eighth of an inch down and a quarter of an inch in. Okay. Now you take your other side, the, the tough side, place it on top of your fuzzy piece. Oh, I love this. I'm so excited. And this worked up so fast. And it's great because you can use up your scraps. You don't have to use red paper just because it's Valentine's. You can use whatever colors they might like. Okay, so carefully. And then press. Make sure it's all adhered. And that's it. You've got it. It's all done. You've got a nice little lip gloss case for your purse or for your niece's grandmother, friend, sister, um, for them to use. You just open like this. And you can take it out if they want, or they can leave it in and just open their lip gloss from here. Okay? So I hope you really love this project. I'd love to see your video responses, the ones that you've made. You can alter these to do um, a little eyeshadow. Um, what, any of these things would be great right for it. I think I'm going to try the eyeshadow next, so I look forward to it. I will have the measurements um, and everything down in the instructions and on my website at Upcycled Scrapbooking dot blogspot.com and I hope you have a great week and God bless.